Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go through how to set up my broker. Now, as you guys know, I have been trading on interactive brokers for about three years now. If you don't know, that is the broker that I utilize. That is what I utilize to enter in and out of my positions. You guys do see me utilize Thinkorswim, but I only use Thinkorswim to chart. So Interactive Brokers is actually the broker that I utilize to implement all of my trades, to execute all of my trades on. So I'm gonna go through from beginning to end the step-by-step -step process on how to open an Interactive Brokers account and then how to set up the Traders Workstation platform. I do just wanna say, I know it's been a long time since I've posted on YouTube and I've been a little bit MIA, but we are back into it. I have a ton of content lined up for you guys. So make sure you guys stay subscribed, turn on those post notifications, and let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right guys, first thing you guys wanna do is go to the Interactive Brokers homepage. I'll link this down below so you guys know exactly where to go. Once you're on the homepage, you just wanna click open account and start application. You would apply normally for any application. And once your application is approved and everything is good to go, you then wanna add your subscriptions. And these are the subscriptions that I currently have on Interactive Brokers. Um, these subscriptions allow me to trade futures, options, SPX, and SPY. So these are the uh, these are the subscriptions that you'll need to be able to do all of that. They're also the subscriptions you'll need for real-time data and so on and so forth. So make sure that you guys screenshot that, this and you know exactly what you need. Once you've done that, your application is set, you've added all of the subscriptions, you then want to come over to this site where you will download the Traders Workstation platform. So Interactive Brokers' platform is called Traders Workstation. This is where you will trade um, and execute all of your trades. So you'll scroll down here and it'll have a list of whatever um, download you need for the system that you're using. Currently, I'm on a Mac, so it has all of the Mac downloads here and you just download it. So once you download the platform, you'll see something similar to this um, where you'll have to set it up. Now, currently, this is how I have mine set up. As you guys can see, to the right-hand side, I have my options chain and then the chart and my activity here. I haven't taken any trades yet today, um, but this is how I have mine set up. So I'm gonna go through how to set everything up for you guys on Traders Workstation as well. So what you wanna do first is come down here and click this little plus icon that'll open a whole new tab for you so that you can start off of a clean slate and you can name it whatever you want so i'm going to name this let's say day trading okay and here you go okay so everything is opened up and to lock and unlock your um system to make sure that everything saves it's this little button up here you can see it says locked and unlocked so once you lock it it'll save your uh, design layout and you don't have to keep repeating it okay so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to show you how i set up options trader with hotkeys and then after that i'll show you guys book trader you can decide which one you think is more feasible for the way that you trade so the first one i'm going to set up is options trader so you come down here and you go down to options trader and you select it okay and here is my options chain for options trader and i'll just hover over the bottom to pull this all the way down all right check next you want to come down and you want to add the chart so you can actually see the chart vin window and the premium chart now i don't watch my charts on interactive brokers but i do watch my premium chart on interactive brokers so that is what i'm going to add so we come down to new window chart and then chart here okay and i'm gonna just edit this a little bit all right there is your chart the next thing we're going to add is your watch list you obviously need a watch list so we come over here add the watch list here and just edit it however you need to to be able to see everything properly and you can edit this however you want you can make this smaller a little bit if you need you can make this a little bit scroll this over make this a little bit bigger whatever you want to do you edit it per whatever looks best to you okay so these are three screens that I have now. Now, then I'm going to add my um, trading activity window. So this will show you all of the trades you've taken, your PNL, and so on and so forth. So you come down here again to new window, and you go to trade history. Oh, sorry. So you come, so you come over here to new window, and you go down to order management and trades. Okay. So it'll bring up this window, and I put this window at the bottom here. 
all the way at the bottom so okay so this will show you all of the trades that you took uh, the time what was the ticker that you traded if you bought or sold price and then um, the PL, the realized PL here at the bottom once you do end up taking a trade for the day okay and then you want to lock this window so it saves and then you click save changes perfect so your window setup is completely set then over here you can actually add your portfolio you can add whatever you want other wa another watch list so you can add multiple watch lists here um, you can then add your portfolio here as well so that you can see your portfolio and when you go to add a ticker so let's say i want to put tesla on my watch list i'll type out tesla press enter and then i want the stock so i'll press that and there's tesla on my watch list if i want spx i'll hit spx enter and then the index because spx is an index that's what we're trading and we enter. So let's say you want to take a trade. You don't want to use hockeys and you don't want to use book trader. You just want to see open a trade really quickly on interactive brokers without using either of those. You just come over to the strike that you want on the options train chain. Let's say I want to buy the 180 put on Tesla. I just right click on the and I hit buy. Okay. And that's it. All right. However, let's say you want to set up hockey. So that's what we're going to do here is I'm going to set up hockeys for you guys. One thing, one way to one way to get to the hotkeys menu is you can hit come over to the options chain click on it and click Control h h and it'll bring up this window okay so it'll bring up the configuration window if you don't want to do it that way you can go into file global configuration and it'll pop this up as well okay and you can see if it's not already selected you want to come over to the left hand side you want to scroll down to where it says options trader click the plus and then come down and it says hotkeys here okay and this is where you set up your hotkeys okay now you can see that my hotkeys are already set up but i'm going to set up a hotkey for you guys so you guys can kind of see now i have three sets of hotkey set one is to buy at the mid price one is to buy at the ask and then one set is to sell at the bid price okay so i'm going to show you how to add those so let's say you want to add a buy order hotkey so we're going to hit buy we're going to double click that buy okay and then right here where it says current key shortcut is where you're going to record whatever key that you want to be able to buy so let's say if i record i'm i want it to buy a i want it to buy one contract so let's say this key i set up at shift t okay so shift T is going to be this hockey. Usually set it up to something that's a little bit more easier to remember. So shift one is to buy one contract, shift two, buy two contracts, so on and so forth. So it makes it a little bit easier for yourself. Once you have the hockey, so once you have the hockey recorded here, you come over to customize. Okay. So this is a buy order. You come over to the size and you hit absolute. And let's say I want to set this hotkey to buy one contract. So I would select one. And then down in order type, you would select limit. And then as the limit price, you're either going to set this hockey to buy at the ask or buy at the mid price. So that's your choice, whatever you want your hockey to be. So let's say I want this hockey to buy at the ask. Okay. You don't change anything else. You come down here and you make sure the transmit the order instantaneously box is checked. If you don't hit this box, and you press your hockey, another pop-up box will come up on Interactive Brokers before asking you if you actually want to make the order, um, execute the order or not, and you don't want that if you uh, want to enter, enter it and exit your trade seamlessly. So you always want to make sure that the transmit the order instantaneously box is checked, okay? And you can see here, it'll immediately transmit the order, select okay, and if you scroll down here, there is my buy order okay let's say i want to set set a sell order i come up down to here select sell double click record let's say i want this one to be shift s sell okay you want to go into customize so it's going to sell the size absolute and let's say i'm going to set this to one so one contract order type is going to be a limit order again 
and the limit price I'm going to set to the bid. Okay, you don't change anything else. Select and transmit the order instantaneously. Yes. Okay. And there is your sell order. So if I press Shift T, it'll buy one at the at, uh, mid price. No, did we set it at the mid or the ask? I think we set it at the ask. It'll buy at the ask. Okay. So if I select select Shift T, it'll buy one contract of whatever strike that I select. It'll buy one contract at the ask price. If I hit Shift S it'll sell one contract at the bid price with both being a limit order, okay? You hit apply, you hit okay, and your hotkeys are set. So when you want to implement an order, you just come over here. Let's say I wanna buy the put, I would select shift T, I think it was, and there goes the order and it bought, okay? And then if I wanna sell it, and then if I wanna sell it, you just select shift S Order and it. Okay, and I just lost $10 on Tesla. Now, if you don't want to use hotkeys, there's another way that you can trade that may be a little bit simpler for some people that don't want to use hotkeys or don't want to use a stream deck, don't want to remember the hotkeys that they're keeping. So what you want to do is you're going to utilize a book trader. Okay, so we're going to come down here and I'm just going to start a new platform so it's easy for you guys to see. And I'm going to type in book trader. Okay. Same thing, so you wanna come up here and instead of selecting options trader, you wanna select book trader, okay? Your book trader pops up, okay? And then you wanna come down and then this time you wanna select options chain instead of options trader and your options chain will come up, okay? Let's see, I wanna put this here. And I'm gonna slide this down and I'm gonna put book trader above it. Okay, again, same thing. You add your chart the same way. Oops. You add your watch list wherever you'd like. And again, you can or organize your specific platform however you'd like. This is just how I have mine organized. Everyone likes to visualize things differently. So then you come to new window and same thing, um, your trades, order management trades, okay? And that's because we just practiced on Tesla here. And then you hit the green box here. Now, one thing you guys should know about interactive brokers is these little links up here link all of your boxes together, okay? You wanna make sure that this is linked to all of your boxes at all times. If you select, let's say, they're all linked, okay? And see how when I selected SPX, everything updated? to SPX's options chain, okay? So everything will update to the ticker that you select if it's all linked. If it's not linked, it won't update and it makes things a lot more complicated for you, okay? So this is Book Trader. Again, same options chain here you can see, very similar, okay? We're on Tesla's option chain and this is the Book Trader. So this is where you would take your positions, okay? So what you wanna do is you want to go into, uh, again, you can configure here or you can select hotkeys. So I'm gonna go into configure. And with Book Trader, you actually don't implement hotkeys. You can if you'd like, but it's specifically made to utilize with buttons. So you come down here, once you hit configure, so you hit configure here, it'll pull up this window, okay? You come over to buttons and this is where you set your buttons. Okay, I'm gonna remove the buttons they have now here. So you hit remove, remove, remove. Okay, and I'm gonna make some new buttons. So we come over here and we hit new. Okay, buy. So where it says select action, you drop down, buy, and it pops this up. Very similar to the hotkey window. Okay, 
action is buy. Let's say absolute, the size I want is 10 contracts. Order type, always a limit order. And I want it to buy at the ask, okay? I'm gonna change the button color. So right here where it says button appearance, you can change the button color. So let's say the background color, I want this to be green, so it's easy to look at. Again, you hit transmit the order instantaneously. Also, one thing I wanna say is that you can rename this. So right here where it says generate label, you wanna uncheck that, and then you can just type whatever you want here. So I'm gonna select buy 10 here as my button. Hit OK, and there's my buy 10. I'm gonna create a cell one too. So you hit new, scroll down to cell, okay. Background color, I'm gonna make this red. And I'm gonna uncheck generate label, cell 10. Okay, action is cell, size absolute at 10. Limit price. We were gonna sell at the bid price. Transmit the order instantaneously, check. Okay, apply, hit okay. There's your buy and sell 10. You hit this button, so what you'll do is make sure that you've selected the correct strike price. Let's say I want the 180 put, or I want the 175 call. This updates, okay? So the 175 call, you see how it updated? If I hit 170 put, Look at how it updated, because they're all linked. It updates to the 170 put, or 180 put. You buy, and you sell. And it automatically buys and sells the position for you. All right, so those are the two different types of ways. Actually, I kind of showed you three. If you want to do the default way, which is a little bit harder on Interactive Brokers, you can either use Options Trader with hotkeys, and if you, you're utilizing a Stream Deck, even better or you can use Book Trader with buttons. You can use hotkeys with Book Trader if you like to look at this a lot better than you like to look at Options Trader, but I like to keep the two separated. So Options Trader for hotkeys and Stream Deck. Book Trader, if you don't wanna use hotkeys, you just wanna press a button, works the same exact way. All right, guys, and this is how I have my Interactive Brokers set up. This is exactly how I trade on Interactive Brokers. I like to use the hotkeys version of it, um, and trade on options trader, but everyone is different, but both ways work extremely well. So I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to decide which one you prefer. All right, guys, hopefully this video was really helpful. If you guys have any questions on how I set anything up or the platform itself, go ahead and comment it down below and I will talk to you guys in the next video.